I'm going to do something really nice for Rupert. Show him how much he means to me, Annabelle. Oh, no, 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 I, I don't want you to kill anyone. I'll let you know. There you are. What are you doing up here? Oh, hey, Bri. I'm making a collage for Rupert. We've been firing on all cylinders lately, and I just wanted to let him know I care. That sounds stupid. Well, Annabelle doesn't think so. Right, Annabelle? Holy <laughs> What is that? Here it is, guys. What do you think? I'm realizing I may have a cat allergy. I think it's great, Glenn. And people really seem to be enjoying themselves. Boy, if I could clean myself with my tongue, I'd never leave the house. <laughs> right? <laughs> and it's like if I had nine lives, maybe I'd finally find a man. <laughs> You's joining me. Excuse me, is someone sitting here? Yes, my lover, Tom. <gasps> oh, Peter, I'm so happy you're okay. Whoa, you're alive? What happened? Did I have a heart attack? No, you had a panic attack. Or in medical terms, a heart attack for wussies. Is that so? Well, in that case, the big promotion goes to Lois Griffin. <laughs> What can I say? I love my wife. That's my show. Why shouldn't this be me? Because I'm the funny one. Not on this show, you're not. Or am I? Ah, I thought we had one more face. It all happened so quick, but I really feel something. Am I crazy? No. Trust your instincts. You've got to chase this feeling. Go find Beard Boy. I will, Mom. I will. <sighs> What was going on in here? The windows are steamed up like when Subway's making the bread. Hey, what's going on in here? We're making the bread, sir. Good. Now get back to making sandwiches with the shiniest turkey on earth. Subway, have it your way if your way is very wet. We got inch-wide masks over just our eyes with the rest of our faces plainly visible. We're fine. You wanted to see me, Daddy? Juliet, honey, we need to talk. You're a grown woman now, and it's time for you to get married. Grown woman? Daddy, I'm 13. Shh! Don't say that. Tell people you're 11. Do you want to get married or not? <sighs> Fine. Now, I found you the most eligible bachelor in all of Italy. He's from the Boyardee family. Kind of a big deal. My family makes the best canned sugar pastas in all the land. What is that? It's my magic eight ball. This is the first black ball that Kim Kardashian hasn't played with. Why is it filled with the blue liquid from tampon commercials? That's a very gross question, Meg. You may take your breakfast in the attic. That question aside, I'm having a blast with my new eight ball. It knows everything. Watch. Magic eight ball, will my middle of the highway puppet show be a success? Well, I'll show this thing. Huh. Something's different. Hey, uh, Meg, uh, can you cut that out? Dad? Please don't tell your mother about this. I took an extra job. I don't make much money, and Christmas is very expensive. <sighs> Dad, I'm going to ask you one question, and how you answer it will determine the rest of my life. Were you the Santa at this mall yesterday? No. Oh, thank God. Now, Meg, I got a question for you. Does that mean you're asking me out? I guess it does. You're not ashamed to be with me? No, I'm not. I don't care anymore. I guess I'm just not as hung up as I used to be. Room service? Oh my god, you ordered room service? Are you crazy? What if somebody finds out I'm in here having goofball sex? Hello? Room service? I've got your eggs and sausages. Sausages. Yeah, it just doesn't seem right. We're in here and everyone on Wall Street is free as a bird. Joe, now is not the time for your bland political musings. This sucks. The courts are closed for Thanksgiving, which means we can't even go before a judge till Monday. That's five whole days here. What the hell are we going to do? Well, if we're Congress, we'll do nothing. Yeah, all right, that one was sharp. Good job, Joe. And you know, maybe maybe prison won't be so bad. Maybe we just got to make the best of it. Like those guys over there. Look, they're playing leapfrog. Wow, tastes great, Stewie. Mmm, so good. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Not so hammy, Meg. He's not an idiot. Stewie, can't you see they're faking it to make you feel good? What are you talking about? 
So good. We must insist on absolute quiet. Lois, where's the first aid kit? I tried to put a Elio's in the oven and I burnt my head. Top of the closet. Oh, that little case? I've been taking that to work to look like a businessman. Hold the elevator, hold the elevator! Sorry. Can someone push any button, please? I don't work here, I'm just being silly. I like a good red delicious. Oh, does your mouth have a lid on it? What are you talking about? That's a garbage apple. May as well eat a Honeycrisp. Wonder what's wrong with that one? Science apple. Made in a lab with test tubes and beakers. Well, what apples do you like? Fuji for eating, crab for hucking. That's a prankster's apple. Gosh, Cleveland, I had no idea you knew so much about apples. Hmm. Did you ever ask? No, I guess I didn't. Hmm. So, any of you out there have a futon? Yeah, yeah, right. I Ubered here tonight. Man, Starbucks. Facebook, eh? And how about that new chip and credit cards? Anybody ever been to Georgia? The new iPhone is large. EDM music. Boo! You stink! Yeah! Dane Cook already did all these halves of jokes! Hey, hey, this is my job. I don't go down to Burger King. God. Down. Hut. Hut. Good hutton, Glenn. That's my boy, Hutton. Way to hut. Shut up. Stop complimenting things that don't need it. Hike! Uh-oh, look who's on the loose. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Oh, no, I missed you by total accident. Yeah, six points, bitches. Whoa, that was some great move, buddy. Meg, I think you're gonna be just fine. But just in case, here, I want you to have these. Your balls? That's right. Whenever you need me, just rub my balls and I'll come. Good night. I don't think Jordan Peele has the talent we've attributed to him. Because of the lake water, uh, I said some things that I did not mean. Jordan Peele is our greatest living filmmaker and visionary, both in comedy and in drama. There is nothing he can't do. Good. Now let's make some twin porn. Hit me again and you got a deal. I now pronounce this the last straight marriage. And I think I got swindled on the Fenway deal because it was a game that night. It's a hit! Oh, that would have been the game-winning run! The Red Sox lose! I was having serious regrets about my decision, but was already pregnant with Meg, so there was no backing out. This bee's chasing me! Somebody call Ace Ventura! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Aw, did you see and hear the wink? That means he did it on purpose. No, no way. He did it all by himself. Ah, there it is again! Brian, you're the best dad ever! What are you talking about? I beat him. I wish I had a dad like that. Me too, bud. Brian, you're very sweet to do that. To do what? I'm the one who scored the touchdown! You sure did, Glenn. He's not my dad! I already have a dad and it's my mom! All right, Brian? Stop trying to be my dad, you fraud! One hundred people surveyed top five answers on the board. Name something you might say to a damned spot. Out. Good answer. Ah, good, yeah, answer. Yeah, good answer. Good answer. Show me out. What? That's impossible. Romeo, name something you might say to a damned spot. Hello. What? I know this audience. Of course it was hell. Of course it was. It was Quagmire. Actually, I haven't seen him all week. Methinks he found a new lady friend. Don't say methinks ever again, Joe. Hey, there he is. Hey, guys. What, what's all this? Oh, this little oogie woogie is my new friend, Albertine. 
who thinks she's French. She loves to smoke and feels it's not truly a meal unless you serve bread. Isn't that right, Albertine? You gotta serve bread? I don't believe she's ever said any of that. So where have you been, low these many days? 